Hello, Incredible One. Danielle A. Jervy here with your weekly Incredible Factor Moment tip. Okay, so I believe that we can all agree that if we were to survey 100 entrepreneurs and, and small business owners and ask them what their biggest challenge is, they would be likely to give an answer that had some variation of marketing being their greatest challenge. Would you agree? I'm sure you would. I know it because I've done the survey and I've had the answers come back from anything from I can't gain traction, my message isn't clear, I'm not sure who I'm targeting, I'm not closing the sale, those types of things which are all related to a marketing types of conversation. And I've narrowed down one of the big reasons why you guys are having this challenge to something that in the, the psychiatric world they call paranoid schizophrenia. And what I mean specifically as it pertains to your marketing is that you're all over the place. You're like Sybil. You've got 16 different marketing personalities or 16 different things at any given time you're marketing about instead of taking the time to get crystal, crystal clear on what it is that you should pre be presenting so that it helps you to truly impact those that you have endeavored you want to serve. You know, another big problem that kind of relates to this in, in your schizophrenia is trying to serve everyone with your product or service. I don't care how great it is, it's not for everyone. There is a distinct group of people who I like to call your audience of one who has been created to take action and receive your work in the form of your product or service. So what I want to share with you this week is how you can get rid of your schizophrenia when it comes to your marketing and how we can begin to create an environment for your marketing message to become clear and concise in such a way that it will lead you to the result that you want. So to demonstrate this, what is this? It's a funnel. Well, actually, it's several funnels, but you get the point. So at the top of your funnel, I want you to think about, and this is the first thing I want you to write down on your paper and your assignment for the week is going to go along with this. I want you to write down what is the ultimate goal. No, before we even go there, I want you get to get into your mind one product or service, just one. You know, I'm really big about focusing on a strategic offering. So one product or service. Got it? All right, great. So first question, what is the ultimate goal or transformation that your audience of one will experience when they purchase this product or service? Write that down, okay? That's at the top of our funnel. From there, we're gonna whittle it down so that our message, your message becomes crystal, crystal clear so that when it comes out the other end, it's ready to gain traction in the marketplace. I know you can get excited about that. First question, ultimate goal or transformation. Your second question is, what if I had to narrow down three things that I needed to tell them that would lead them to this ultimate goal or transformation, what would those three things be? We're going through the funnel. We're going through the funnel. What would those three things be? If I had to narrow down to three things that they'd need to know in order to get, get to the point of understanding the ultimate goal of transformation as a result of this product or service, what would those three things be? Okay, got it? Next question. Of the three, which one is the most painful that if I could only give them one thing now, giving them this would position me as an expert, as a true solution, so that they gain this ultimate goal of transformation. We're coming down the funnel. See how we're narrowing it down? Okay, so now you have that one thing. Now, I want you to ask yourself, what is it about this one thing that they need to know right now? What is it? And I want you to list all of the things about this one thing they need to know. I want you to then, after you finish that, I want you to ask yourself why do they need to know this one thing? I want you to give them the, the, the complete, the robust reason why, building your case as to what the ramifications will be should they not understand the necessity to get their hands on this particular solution so that they can achieve their ultimate goal or transformation. So now we're at the point because we, we are clarifying the core what and the why that we're almost at the end of the funnel. Now, the last step is for you to determine what your call to action is gonna be. The best marketing tells your audience what to do next. So you've gone through the ultimate goal of transformation. 
You've broken it down to three things they need to know. You've taken it a little bit farther by giving them the one most painful thing that is gonna make all the difference right now. You've clarified what it is about this thing and why understanding this thing is so important to their ability to get the ultimate goal of transformation. Now, what is it that you want them to do? So that's it, that's, that's the formula for you to, to go through each time you're preparing some form of marketing for a product or service so that you don't have marketing schizophrenia. If you really focus on narrowing down through this funnel in the way that I just described to you, your marketing is gonna be more clear first and foremost to you. When it's clear to you, it's gonna help you to position yourself as a, a more robust expert, one who really knows what they're talking about instead of someone who's got multiple personalities and is just everywhere because they're not clear and concise. It's also gonna help you to position the next thing that your audience of one prospect should do should they wanna get involved with you. This has been Darnell A. Jervy with your weekly Incredible Factor Moment tip. If this tip has helped you, will you please do me a favor and leave me a positive comment below and, and help me to understand how this funnel concept for asking yourself these questions in preparation for your marketing about whatever it is that you're gonna do is really gonna make a difference for you. And secondly, if you have not yet ordered your free audio CD, Seven Critical Mistakes Entrepreneurial Business Leaders Must Avoid When Unleashing Their Incredible Factor so that they can attract more clients, make more money and gain more leverage, then make sure you visit our website so that you can get your hands on that free CD. I'd love to send it to you. It's full of amazing, juicy information that'll help you once and for all learn how to truly become a client magnet so that you can have more clients than you know what to do with. Again, this has been Darnielle A. Jervy with your weekly Incredible Factor tip, saying be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. I'll see you guys next week. Take care.